So, you know, it's really crazy because licensed apparel and headwear through the 70s and 80s was just like, you know, kind of about logos, putting it on hat. It wasn't about the quality. It wasn't about the fit. It wasn't about the material. We kind of started doing business with lids in the mid 90s. At that time, uh, every cap was kind of a structured cap. It was a cotton dum-dum hat with a plastic back. That's just the way the business kind of was. And all of a sudden, the kids are ripping up the buckram, which the buckram, if anybody doesn't know about it, that's the reinforcement that goes behind the front panels that make the hat stand up. And what these kids were doing, they were cutting it out. And we're saying, okay, this is crazy. How do we take advantage of the situation and the popularity? So we go and make this relaxed cap. I don't know if it was me and Stevie or me and Bobby went overseas. We stayed for like two weeks in the factories and they just kept on coming back and forth with samples. Like, no, nope, that doesn't fit right. That's too short. That's too deep. The wash is incorrect. We changed the wash. We made sure that the wash on the seams was, was like worn out, the tip of the visor, but we didn't want it too worn out. When we're doing, you know, perfecting the fit overseas of the cleanup, which today people call the dad cap. And what's so crazy is like five or six years ago, the dad cap, you know, had this resurgence. Like everybody was wearing it from people that wore structured hats before. Now they were wearing relaxed hats. And it fit all the way from a 16 year old kid to a 70 year old person. What's amazing, we said, the dad hat, we were the originators of the dad hat. Like we did that in the 90s. So for us, it was like, oh my God, this is unbelievable. But we were really the originators of the cleanup slash dad hat.